Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna ha show a uh, tutorial on how to work the uh, on how to work the uh, ZSNES, which plays uh, different uh, SNES games. So on the computer, and that's and I'm posting this tutorial ch uh, in case anyone wants to play the Mario hacks that I create. Um, so download the download the uh the uh files that are in the description the links are in the description to these files and okay yeah just extract the files and you should get this right here these these are what you should get what when you extract the files inside is just the the emulator which will play the hack and then in this file is the actual hack uh, so what you're gonna do is just go in here open that up double click on it uh, it says one time user thing just press spacebar and it'll go away go into uh, load go into uh, your desktop Search for, whoops, ah, go to Chevelle Rockers Rock and World or whatever the file is saved as. Double click on it, and it should start up just like this. If it doesn't, then I don't know. Just go back and see what's wrong. Uh, it should look like this if you're playing my hack. Um, just press. Okay, now to configure the controller, just go into config. Go into config input, and right here you'll see all these different uh, key commands, keyboard commands to make it make Mario do whatever. Up, down, left, right, start, and select should be pretty straight up, but these are kind of messed up in a little way. So if you just play around with them, you'll get it to work out like the way you want it to. Uh. Oh yeah, by to get the the stuff up here, just press escape and that'll show up. This will all show up. Press escape again to make it go away. Okay, once you're right here, just press whatever you have for A and it'll go through there. Um the screen should look like this now if you downloaded my hack. If if you play the level, um you should have all the key commands. You should have all the. You should know all the key commands, how you set them up. If you don't, it'll make things a little bit harder. Um, now the next thing, the uh, save states. Save states are like a teleport. Like if you die, like if you press save state, it'll say state zero saved. And if you do that, and you want to go back, it'll just reload where you last saved. So if you were just playing along here. And you accidentally did that, you can just go back to wherever you saved it. And now if I save it right here, see it's saved, then I do that, I can just go back right there. So it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple to learn. Um to get the save states, there's might be something that you might have to do. Um go into config saves and for the state shortcuts that doesn't really matter. But for the save, just press whatever key you want it to save. I have it has the I have save the key command as um zero on the num number pad on the keyboard. So just press that. And for the load to load the state, your teleport. I have it as control, but it c it'll work with anything. And for rewind, that's not totally important. But if it just rewinds the level to a certain amount, um, just make that whatever you want to. I have it as shift. Now, some things that I've ran into uh, when I first got this that it would say when I tried to when I tried to save a state, it would say that uh, it was unable to save. So I looked it up, and you have to go if if you are unable to save, just go into. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, if you are in, unable to save, if it says that you're unable to save the state, just go into uh, go into config paths and it'll be blank so just go to your desktop go to your desktop and just make a new folder name it 
saves. If you, I don't care what you name it, but it just doesn't matter. Go into that folder and just copy and paste. Copy that. And then paste it into into the saves bar, which is paste it paste that link into here by pressing control V and it'll go right there. And now you should be able to save. Um, now you should be able to save and load the states. So And so now if you die, you can, you can just save the state before a hard part, die, and just go back to wherever you saved the state by pressing the load button. Pretty simple. Uh, yeah, I guess I hope this helped a lot. Um, see you next time.